If you've ever had a conversation with someone, gang, and you know that they're talking to you, but they keep mumbling half their words, it's just too soft, you can't quite hear it, you're going to get pretty frustrated. Or if you've ever been sitting in your room trying to read something, maybe you were studying for a wireless fundamentals exam, and the person in the room next door is just blasting their favorite song, you know how frustrating that can be too. When it comes to hearing things, we know that getting the right volume is critical to sanity. And for our wireless sanity, the same thing is true. As we're sending the outbound RF through our antenna, we want to ensure that the gain is tuned to just the right level. We've dialed it in to the strength that is needed for our situation. And so in order to do that, we can use one of two devices to manage that signal. We can boost the signal by using an amplifier, right? And that'll jack it up. Or we can use an attenuator, which will actually drain off some of the signal and reduce the outbound gain that would normally be sent out the antenna. So uh, the amplifiers are powered devices because they're increasing the signal. So therefore, they, they uh, require electricity to do that job. We've got to inject some power into this, into this process. An attenuator is a passive device. It's the, uh, it's the circuitry itself that essentially adds additional resistance that ends up draining off, kind of uh, bleeding off some of that extra signal so that the RF signal doesn't bleed and cause uh, contamination into other networks. We start crossing into areas and slowing down networks by having our access points send signal too far. So when we look at how this plays out, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, a attenuator will just be a single box. An amplifier will have the amplifier box plus a DC injector unit. And the DC injector is what grabs that AC power, converts it to DC. Uh, then that's connected into the access point while the amplifier itself is connected to the antenna. All right, and then of course we have a connection between these units. Uh, then what we end up doing, again, we want it to be mounted uh, close to the antenna for maximum gain. We don't want a whole lot of cable loss. And then the configuration essentially boosts that signal. Signal comes in from the access point. It's boosted uh, to just the right level by the amplifier before it gets a chance to hit the antenna, where the antenna does what antennas do. It sends out that signal, either omnidirectional or directional, could be patch, yaggy, could be a point-to-point uh, -point parabolic antenna like what you're seeing right here. All sorts of configurations are possible. So the goal here is to tune the signal using amplifiers or attenuators. Sometimes these are devices that are very simple. They're kind of tuned to say, okay, I'm going to boost the signal by this many decibels, right? Boost it by 30 decibels or boost it by 10 decibels. Or it's an attenuator that will be hard-coded to reduce it to a certain level. Or some of them will allow you to adjust that on the fly. So you're not purchasing one that always amplifies or attenuates to a certain number of decibels, but it will actually have options to let you change how much it uh, boosts or uh, reduces the signal. 